we will show a running example of an animation of uh, a left scenario this is more realistic that we, we just have discussed in the previous unit and we will see how the lifts the floors interact with each other in a scenario so let us start so here if you look here you will see we have the following program the program is called main it has the Asian definition we have seen what is an Asian definition it has the floor and a lift and we have this extra file called cabin it is for the animation and it represents a cabin surrounding a lift and sends messages to the lift when it arrives to different floors so let us start the program first by looking to the main program so the main program you are going to look yourself here we added these different uh, files and the main function is called new scenario that adds a number of lifts and number of floors you will study that again yourself but let us see an example so here is an example that we are going to see now so we feed the buffer here we have that then we start a scenario with four lifts and five floors okay here what here is four lifts and five floors you have all the files so you can just study it and then uh, we can browse what is S then S will be a scenario with a number of lifts here on the floor so you could expect here is a number of procedure abstraction that represent the agents here is a number of uh, procedure abstraction that represent the floors and that should be what we should see if we add this line feed this line you see it now and if we want to make it show it layout show it a little bit better we, we browse and we do 18 and say ok so you can see it better now all right so here we look to our lifts and our floors and we try to control them by hand to play with them so I will just feed this region okay and I will explain the interaction uh, with the floor agents and the lift agents when we are using it then you can look to the code yourself okay so look to this operation first I will feed um, nuclear two variables here they are in so what is this operation means you have a floor and you send the message press up and you are supposed to get here which lift has been selected so in this case a person is standing outside the floor he sees the different buttons that he has to press and he, he there is a button for pressing up and a button for pressing down and he presses the up button and wants a floor okay when this is finishes a floor will we'll see here this will be bound x1 will be bound to a floor so after a while x1 will be bound to the selected lift and then after a delay of 10 seconds the person is inside the, f the lift and he is requesting to go up to floor number five okay so let us see this running So you got left number one to floor number three. This is the door is open, he's inside. And then he requests to go to floor number five. And you can see it goes to floor number five. So this is the same scenario again, but the person is at floor number two and he wants to go to floor number four. Okay. Great. So here is a 
Here is a person that he's inside lift num number one and he wants to move to floor number one. So let us input this in. See what happens. Yes. There is another person on lift number two wants to move to floor number two. That's fine. Here is one in floor number three and wants to just open the door. Nothing happens really. And this is one person that wants to go to floor number three. Now this is interesting. So I'm, I'm a person standing in floor number four and I want to press, I'm pressing up, I want the floor to go up and this will start the contract net protocol to select actually the nearest lift and you can see from this one if I enter this one he's going to get the lift that was on floor number three this was the nearest lift and you can continue looking by yourself and, and playing with this so let us go and just look quickly to the interfaces so we look to lift it us again you can see what's going on and the most important thing is inside this you can see all of this you can read it yourself but the most important function as you can see is the function when a floor requests a lift when a floor requests a lift it sends a request to the lift and the lift is going to propose something is going to propose compute the time it arrives to the floor and then it waits for an acknowledgement the floor is going to use the lift with the shortest time to come to that floor so this lift is going to wait for an act and if it is the nearest lift in uh, scheduling time then it's going to get a reserve otherwise it's going to get a reject so this is so the rest you can look yourself to it's as you can see here you will see always what kind of request this agent gets at what kind of uh, s messages it sends okay if we go now to the floor we also look to the we are going to look the most interesting so you can see it here to the floor I mean this one is the same as this one except that you want to get back which lift is the selected one but you can see it clearly here that here you do the contract net protocol so you send a request to all agents you get all lift agents you select a lift and let us look quickly to select lift you will study it more in detail later but the most important about select lift it does something hmm? let me see select lifts it um, here this is the one I'm looking for select lift it basically select one lift by a reserve I guess and reject the other lifts and it basically gets a form of waiting time or time until arrival from all lists that's basically what it gets but this you can uh, look to it in detail all right so I think now we have um, seen an example this program will be available for you to play with and it shows a complete Asian scenario let us say okay thank you